uh, a remarkable construction project in part because of the timing. Uh, we realize that uh, pr work in a neighborhood causes tremendous disruption, even when the outcomes are so positive. And the neighborhood has been very patient uh, with us as we do this work. We ultimately think it will be an enormous benefit. We had a contest in the neighborhood uh, to name each of our tunnel bore machines. We have Nanny, we have Ladybird, and now Lucy. We have a grout plant set up over there. The grout as we move along as well. As we work to the back here, we have a muck bin and then a shop. So there's a tremendous amount of uh, infrastructure has to be put into place in order to get this kind of work done. Behind this crane, we have actually a power generation plant. We use natural gas to power up, to power the site. More efficient and environmentally friendly than diesel generators. Using slurry wall construction. The slurry walls are 42 inches in thickness. Um, it goes approximately 18 stories down. This problem has existed for more than a century, and when you walk the neighborhood, you see why. It is extremely difficult to solve, essentially, the problem of capacity in sewers, which are already quite large and underneath city streets, they're deeper than all the other infrastructure under the street, and they're bigger. So there's no simple solution if they're not big enough. What our solution here is, is to go underneath all of that and build, essentially, a whole new system, 10 stories underground that's much larger than the existing system up above, but we still have to create projects at points in the neighborhood to drop the flow that would flood the neighborhood down into this huge tunnel underground. So six segments, each segment is several tunnels, and the inside diameter is how much? About 20 foot inside diameter. And so the outside are one foot thick. These segments are made in Ohio, transported to uh, DC, and then constructed, uh, the, uh, the tunnels constructed as these are similar to what we've used and, uh, for the Blue Plains Tunnel and for the Anacostia Tunnel as well. This is one of our oldest and biggest sewer sheds, as it were, the, the amount of area that flows into an existing big sewer. This is the biggest in the city and one of the oldest. So we implemented, in concert of working with the city, a multi-stage solution. The first was done very quickly. We took one of the sand filters that you see behind me, cleaned it, and lined it. So actually storm flow that's coming down a pipe on North Capitol is diverted into and filling up one of these sand filters which takes storm flow that otherwise might flood the neighborhood. We also did uh, green infrastructure that absorbs rainfall and bioswales to the north of here. Again, flow that would have come down in the neighborhood. Both of those benefits are in place today. The next phase will be the tunnel that you're going to go see that Lucy is building. That's the second phase. That will take a tremendous amount of flow that otherwise might flood the neighborhood into the tunnel. The third and final phase will be to connect the tunnel that Lucy is drilling under First Street to the giant tunnel that goes all the way down to Blue Plains. That has made it up as far as National Stadium. The next phase will go from National Stadium to RFK. The final phase will go from RFK to here. The goal we've had with the, uh, with the district is to be completed with this project late spring 2016, uh, which is early next year, and we are on time and on schedule for that uh, completion date.